Hello and Assalamu alaikum, Ultra Scan Diagnostics. This is the 3D rendering of the patient which you had requested. The area of interest is the upper left lateral incisor region. Um, this tooth has had an extraction, this is the e dentris area. We can see the extraction socket. We can also see that the buccal plate has suffered damage at the time of extraction. Moving to the panoramic view here, we can see um, that we've got adequate distance between the central incisor and the canine which is part of the bridge um, but on a transaxial view this is the transaxial view here we can see that there is lack of a buccal cortical plate um, in this region um, the implant placement will be possible if the doctor can augment the buccal plate with either um, a cortical plate or with bone grafting um, procedure the ridge width approximately in this region is 5 millimeters, whereas the height is approximately 13 millimeters. So we have good engagement area in the apical region and the implant can be engaged here um, with a little bit of a, a bone augmentation on the buccal surface. Uh, the axial view here, we can see the axial view. This is the axial view. On the axial view, it is visible that we have a deficient bone on the buccal aspect whereas the palatal aspect or the lingual aspect we can see that we've got sufficient bones this is where the extraction socket starts we've got good thick bone in the apical region um, where implant engagement can be done we don't have any periapical pathologies or any pathologies associated with this region now for implant placement the doctor has requested a neobiotic implant which we will now place the Neobiotech implant that we have selected is a 3.8, 11.5. Uh, we've taken 11.5 so that maximum amount of bone um, can be um, associated or integrated or involved at the apical region when the implant is placed. Um, the implant will have to be placed slightly deeper, but bone augmentation needs to be done in the buccal aspect. Otherwise, the thread exposure is going to be um, quite significant. On the panoramic, we can see that the implant is placed right at the center of the ridge. This is the transaxial view here. We can see that the maximum engagement is on the parietal and the apical uh, half aspect, whereas the buccal will be exposed if not augmented with bone. We can also show you a little bit of a different slice. This is the tooth from a coronal view. Here we can see that we can engage the tooth here. Um, from an axial aspect, we can see that the implant is placed towards the parietal aspect but has good engagement areas and this is the um, the sagittal view of this tooth so if you have any further questions regarding this case please feel free to reach to our team thank you very much